you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. He left. Hmm. Any Abdul? Anyone? Anything is an embarrassment, the Muslim they deny. But how you can deny something written in your book? How you can do that? If it is not accepted, then why you Muslims have it in your book? You know what I mean? Okay, so it's not accepted in the Wikipedia, okay, is accepted in your book, in your scars? That's very weird. This is a link, and I change any Muslim to say I'm making things up. And this is the book, Kitab al Nikah. Even the name of the book is the book of Ifin. <laughs> what the name of the book? Hey, this is Mansour. What the name of the book? The book of Ifin. Omar Rabbi Omar. Omar Rabbi Omar. The name of the book is the book of Ifing. Does it say there that your penis will be endless, brother? And not only that, it says, and the vagina will be made fit for that. Makes sense. If the penis is endless, the vagina should be endless. But imagine this. How the woman's vagina would be endless, that means she have endless body too. Otherwise, her vagina is coming out of her butt continue forever <laughs> like a tube <laughs> it says here in Arabic hmm? it says it says that's deep That's deeper, brother. Mm. Actually, in the same page, it says, "يجوز نكاح سائر المحارم في الجنة إلا الأم والبنت." It is allowed for a Muslim to f all women in heaven who they are forbidden in earth except his mother and his daughter <laughs> so you can if you're empty hmm? hey Abdul is that true or I'm making things up you can if your grandmother you can if your niece and I challenge you to say I am saying things is not there Amar Rabbi Amar. This is a true religion, brother. This is a true religion. Mm -hmm. I posted the link for you. You can use Google Translation and you can do it. Do we have any Muslim have a... So as you see, we waited for Muslims to call us, but as you see, none of them dare to call. So now we are here for how long? I think our time is up. Did we have a good time, guys? If we had a good time, don't forget to give it a like uh, or dislike. And don't forget to make a comment. 
because we want, and I want to see Christians responding to Muslims. I want to see how you respond. And by doing that, you train yourself, you learn how to respond and how to refute those Abdul. Remember one thing. Uh, <clears throat> Islam is very stupid religion. But Islam flourish only being stupid. So only if you are stupid, Islam can fool you. And that's why we are here, so they cannot fool you. We are giving you the education, which you are not allowed to have because you go to church, nobody teaches you anything about Muslims, about Islam. Wherever you go, nobody is sharing the truth about this God. So here we are doing what nobody is doing. So you can refute it so easy. This is a very stupid cult. From the top to the bottom, nothing about it is true. It's a collection of fairy tale stories. It's a very filthy religion, very filthy, very sexual. But sexual in the way of filth. You see, sexuality, not necessarily to be bad, because God, he created Adam and Eve, right? Sexuality is, exists for a reason. Islam destroy the reason. Islam make it an animal thing. So what Islam turn you to be an animal who want to kill, fight, so you can go and F. So the soldiers of Allah are a bunch of horny creatures. They are willing to die to go to a heaven full of women to F. They don't believe in Allah. They don't care for Allah. They don't love Allah. They love their penis. So what this religion does, it converts you to be yourself a penis. You are not a human no more. You see the whole world from the whole of your penis. Why a Muslim, he want to worship God so he can go to heaven. What he will get in heaven? <laughs> Women with big boobs and nice vagina and they will be jumping, fighting over him. This is the reasoning and the purpose of Islam. And you see, the reward explain the purpose. The reward. You know, like when you have a dog, when you have a dog, you have your own purpose, the dog, you have his purpose. Your purpose is to train the dog to do things, maybe to jump, and then you give him a candy or a piece of meat or a bone. But the dog is not jumping because he want to jump, he's jumping, he want to get his purpose. So ask yourself the question, what is the purpose of a Muslim? To follow Allah. The purpose in the front of you. Penis and vaginas and breasts. If their God is not a God of lust and sexuality, Kama Sutra, why he is even describing for us the size of the breast, the look of the breast, the shape of the breast, And why he is not describing, you know, to the women? Where is the women reward? Because this is a man-made religion for the man. Muhammad needed fighters. He don't care for the women. The women are subdued anyway. The purpose of any anything will explain that thing to you. If we go right now for a picnic, what is the purpose? Is to have fun, right? Picnic to relax. In Islam, you don't relax. You are going to F non-stop. You became addicted to sex. When the God of Islam, he promised them that the women who you will F, nobody ever touched their vagina yet. And a Muslim, he says, why Christian prince keep talking, talking about this? It's not me who's talking about it, it's you. A Muslim, he tried to, refer, to frame you by saying, oh, this guy is dirty, look what he's talking about. But as you see, I'm just quoting what they're saying. I'm not, I'm not, it's not me speaking, this is, I'm just quoting, this is the, why I'm here to quote to you what Islam said, you know? What is the description of the vagina for? Why? What's exactly, what are you, and what do you mean genie did not touch them and a human did not touch them? They are brand new, zero mileage. And what that will do to me, that will motivate me to believe in Allah. Exactly. This is about motivation. 
and look at the motivation you will see it's very stupid very silly and very dirty look at this you will recline in a couch but this is the motivation now to believe in God I will, be, I will become a potato couch a lazy boy chair and I will be wearing silk clothing and there's a fruits around me so this is the purpose of this religion and I will give you from every fruit to, to, to bears two apples from every kind of apple not every kind which means two kinds of apples but two and two stupid what is that two kinds of bananas what the heck is that there is two a uh, spring of water too everything is two brother because Muhammad he stuck with the letter N Aleph N then and and that will make it two so the motivation explain the quality if somebody says to you if you go accompany me as a reward I will give you a lot of hookers so what is the motivation the hookers that's mean the one who you accompany is a pimp do we agree this is a promises of a pimp Satan this is satanic promises and those women because this God is a very racist he promised them they will be so white like pros if you have a birthday party me myself I don't celebrate such a thing I don't know even when I was born I asked my mom she said all oh, what I know it was a bad day so since then just leave it in that <laughs> said, mom when I was born she said my son all oh, what I know it was a bad day so don't ask me so let us say you have a birthday and now one he brought you a gift hey one of your friends brought you a gift one he gave you a, a music uh, CD the other one he uh, get you a book about science the other one he brought you a book about history the other one he bought you a CD about porn here you understand each one of them what is valuable for him right what he what he have in his head the gift speak of you your gift speak of you when you give me a gift I can understand now how you think of me and of yourself so when this God he give a gift they call him God and his gift is about penises and vaginas and women and describe the vaginas to motivate them and wine and you know and silver and gold and bracelet and silk and couches that is telling you that this God is a plane with your mind so he can make you swim in your lust because lust is when we worship money lust is when we live for money we need money all of us everything around us we have need for it even sex but when you live for that purpose and even you die for it that is a lust that is a destruction because now you lost your humanity and you became an animal you see a dog you move a piece of meat in the front of him right where his tail is so happy he's a dog he is a dog Islam trying to make you to be the dog and the devil is doing that to you so he can control you so when somebody wrote a book it's called satanic verses in fact the whole Quran is a satanic book not only some verses and we prove that every day don't forget to uh, uh, pin room address I don't know what does that mean you see I'm not familiar with this stream yard I'm just using it because you guys said it's easier for people to call so I'm using it better than Skype supposedly so we will use it here and there so anyway guys I want to say thank you for being here 
I hope you learned. I hope you will share the videos. I hope you will uh, uh, you will use the knowledge you learn. Uh, you know, we are totally uh, different kind of belief and believers. The the Bible, the Lord, He order us to search the books, to read the books, so we will not be ignorant. Islam forbid you from reading books. Forbid you even to ask questions about Islam. Chapter five, verse one hundred one. Verse 102 says, because former generation before you, they left their faith because of asking questions. Muhammad don't dare to answer questions. He make claims. And making claims so easy. And his claims proving him to be a pervert, a thief, a criminal, a lost person. And he gave himself a privilege. And all cult leaders, all cult leaders in the world, they love to give themselves a privilege. And all the privilege is about two, mostly. There's additional things, money and sex. A cult leader wanna sleep with your wife. A cult leader, he wants your money. And Muhammad is both. And we challenge anyone to prove us wrong. So I wanna say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And enter, we see you soon again. Christ is Lord, Islam is a fraud, and we prove it every time we go live on air. And remember, we posted the link for Muslims to call since the first second we go live. And where is Sheikh Uthman to call us? Get us busted, Abdul, potato. You know, you call uh, some Christian do not know much about Islam, so you can be safe. Hmm? You better be safe than sorry, huh? <laughs> All right, take care, God bless you, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.